Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on pie charts. Okay, it says that a florist has some roses in five different colors. The pie chart below shows what percentage of the roses are in each color. AB is a diameter of the circle on the pie chart. Okay, now what this means is that when we say that AB is a diameter of the circle, okay, what it tells you that this diameter AB divides the circle into two halves. So this is one half of the pie and this is the other half of the pie, okay? So in the case of this pie chart, 50% of the roses were red or white and here we can tell that the other 50% were either pink or yellow or orange. Okay, now let's see what questions we have on this pie chart, okay? Let's solve them one by one. The first question is, how many percent of the roses are orange? Okay, now as we said just now that 50% of the roses are either pink or yellow or orange, then from here we can say pretty easily that the percentage of roses that are orange are 50 or 50% 50 minus 25% that are pink minus 12% that are yellow, right? Because pink plus yellow plus orange is 50%. So 50 minus 25 minus 12 is the percentage of roses. That's orange, okay? So 50 minus 25 is 25 and 25 minus 12 is 13. So quite easy, 13% of the roses are orange. That's it, that's so easy, right? 13%. Okay, so that's easy, that's done. Let's see what's the next question, okay? So there you go and let's see the next question. It says that given that there are 36 yellow roses, how many roses are there altogether? Actually, this is also quite easy. 12% of the roses are yellow, okay? So 12% of the roses are 36 in number. So if 12% of the roses is equal to 36, then what is 1% of the roses? Well, then 1% of the roses will be 36 divided by 12. And 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. So 1% of the roses is equal to 3. So 3 roses represent 1%, right? Okay, now what is the question? Well, we want to find out how many roses are there all together. So then what is 100% of the roses? That's what we want to find out, right? So 1% is equal to 3 roses. Then quite obviously 100% would be equal to 3 times 100, right? So 3 times 100, that is equal to 300 roses. So altogether there are 300 roses and that's the answer to this question. How many roses are there? Well there are 300 roses. Quite easy right? Let's see what the next question is. All right now this is the last question. It says what is the ratio of the number of white roses to the number of red roses. Okay, so we want to find out the ratio of the number of white roses to the number of red roses. All right, now what do we know about the white roses? Well, we know that the white roses are 10% of all the roses. And why so? Because this diameter AB, this one over here, AB divides the pie chart into two halves. Since it's a diameter, it divides the pie chart into two halves. So the red plus white are together equal to 50% and we know that the red roses are 40% so obviously the white roses are 10%. All right, now let's find out what is the total number of red roses, okay? And then we'll find out what the total number of the white roses is and then we'll find the ratio, okay? So let's see, the red roses are 40% of all roses and we know that 1% is equal to three roses. We found that out in the previous question, right? So 40% of all the roses will be equal to 120, right? So the red roses, okay, the red roses are 120 in number. How about the white roses? Well, the white roses are 10% of all the roses, so that would mean 10 times 3, right? 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So the white roses are 30 in number. So the ratio of the number of white roses to the number of red roses is 30 to 120. Now, shall we reduce this? Actually, we can quite easily just divide each of these by 30. Divide 30 by 30, you get 1. And divide 120 by 30, you get 4. So the ratio of the number of white roses to the number of red roses is 1 to 4. 
actually you know there's another way of finding this instead of going and finding out what the total number of white roses or the total number of red roses is what you can do is see what is the percentage of each of the roses okay what is the percentage of white roses and what is the percentage of red roses so from here let me make some room here okay so from here we know that white to red is 10 percent to 40 percent okay now this is 10 this is 40 divide each of them by 10 okay this seems to be because that's the common factor 10 divided by 10 is 1 40 divided by 10 is 4 so again you get the same ratio 1 to 4 which you got using the number of roses instead of the percentage of roses so it doesn't matter whether you use the number of roses or the percentage of roses you still get the same answer because the number of roses are actually related to the percentage of roses right we got the number using the percent so it's really one and the same if all you really want to find out is the ratio okay all right so that's uh, that about this question and i think that's the last question so that's the end of the lesson i hope you understood what i taught and i hope that now you'll go back and practice some uh, questions and take a few tests as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.